I had just heard the famous words, five yard off for a panina. <laughs> You're joking at me. <laughs> so yeah. do you, I mean, and, and you really would be doing John and I a favour if you did this. So like when you chatted to Timothy Chalamet, do you say things like, there's this podcast yeah. you need to listen to. <laughs> They've actually just done a great reset. Uh, yeah. I, if, if you're into British regional banter, there is something you will <laughs> love. <laughs> they if mention you, Thornbury a lot. <laughs> just Google it. If, if you want to hear what's coming up on BBC in a silly voice, this is going to be your... I know yes. that you're hanging out with Meryl Streep and yeah. uh, Denzel. Denzel. But, <laughs> I watched Equalizer 3 on the flight back from my holiday. Mm -hmm. um, I've so really enjoyed it. Oh, good. That's what I could say to Denzel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could say, really enjoyed Equalizer 3. Yeah. And he'd probably go, what, really? <laughs> yeah. I'd like, yes. I mean, none of it made sense, but you bashed up lots of baddies. Yeah. Did you prefer that to the likes of John Wick? Uh, not seen John Wick, but I have seen Equalizer 1 and 2. <laughs> right. They get progressively worse, okay. but they're still good. Uh, which of Ellis and I and Dave <laughs> yeah. do you think would survive best being a Hollywood megastar, and which do you think would survive worst and why? Well, now with your new arms, John, probably <laughs> you're going to get off to a really good start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Ellis is going to be particularly good at working the rooms. Oh, yeah. The, I don't the, know about Shaking that. and faking. Oh, no, in fact, no, you would. You would. Yeah. Uh, British regional banter. They've yeah, never heard anything yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think Dave has just got the charm, and mm. I think that he, he just, he'll understand. He'll turn up, he'll sniff the air, and he'll go, I get this place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's and, and he's got sensational teeth. Mm, he's go. got Hollywood yeah. teeth. You've got yeah. Hollywood teeth. I have now, yeah. My, well, I, yeah, I haven't. I've got, <laughs> I've got very British teeth. On the bottom, the top, I've got Hollywood teeth. But you sure. never see the bottom. No. Because I just have to go around all the weekends <laughs> like that. Then you'll take it by storm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, even if I was the best actor in the world, no one would cast me with these, these bottom teeth. But you never see them. Yeah, I need to get them whitened, but I just like black coffee too much. That's too good. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. Well, in honour of you being a fan of ours... Can I ask one question, please, about Ted Lasso? Because I will oh, yeah, I sure. will regret not asking. Um, incredible series. Thanks, uh, obviously, you played Jamie Tart. My and you were nominated for an Emmy. Yeah. Did you win it? I didn't know. Oh. <laughs> Who did? The <laughs> security have turned up. <laughs> Ready to get rid of me. Who did? And I'll, and I'll call them an idiot. Uh... Eben Moss Bacher, no one really knows how to say it. I've not heard of them. No. The bear, the guy from the bear, the, the bear oh, sort of swept it. Whatever. Yeah, the bear they. Is they great. The oh, bear shut is up, great. Dave. Come on, he's hey, right Dave. there. Oh, you guessed. Sorry, no, no. Jake, Jake. Back to obviously having some people might have to have hairy chests to play certain roles. Mm -hmm. uh, your calves were phenomenal in <laughs> in Ted Lasso. Dave. Uh, maybe was there an inspiration there from a certain Jack Grealish, or was that just a coincidence? And second question, just to that, was that a prerequisite that they wanted someone with great calves and legs to yeah. play the role that you played? <laughs> yeah, it was much like I, I just about dodged the hairy chest part, which is what Brett Goldstein played. Yeah, and then uh, I it wasn't a prerequisite. It wasn't even a prerequisite for this part that I had to play football. Um, but I had done a um, an audition in this sort of cod. Latino accent, kind of, um, and, and I didn't get it through that because I don't know, probably offensive. But I then went back in, and they said, "Can you do a kind of, um, I don't know, like a more regional British one? Is there anything that you can do?" And I think I don't know if it just recently happened, but and I haven't really told anyone this before, but I had just heard the famous words, five yard off for a panina." <laughs> You're joking at me. <laughs> And I was like, now hold on, there's something here. Oh my god! And I think I have a I have an agent who's very sassy, and she's Mancunian, so yeah. sort of, and my girlfriend's family are all from there. But that that is the honest truth. So hang on, your character, Jamie oh, no, Tart, you're, you're, you're is joking, based, is based you are, on Dave Masterman. Yeah, no, that, no, certainly. Well, it's certainly that, based off the pastiche of which, Dave which I'd say Alice made that's famous. In, in that's that incredible. incredible. That's incredible. <laughs>